My name is Carlos Cerrona. I'm a graduate student at the University of Florida working towards a Master's of Science in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Um, the objective of the subject research project is to investigate uh, the use of equalization for the reduction of intersimple interference in a time division multiple access wireless channel. ISI is a result of multipath propagation in the wireless channel. A phenomenon of multipath propagation is that several forms of a symbol arrive at the receiver antenna at different times with different phases and amplitudes. Hence, ISI reduces the quality and or usability of the wireless channel. All in all, the primary goal is to determine the most practical and effective equalization technique for a TDMA wireless channel by means of research and simulations. Basically, a TDMA stream is divided into frames as can be seen in the figure one. Um, those frames are further divided into time slots and each user is allocated one or more time slots. The frames are divided into a preamble, information message, and trail bits as can be seen in figure two. The preamble provides addressing data between the mobile station and the base station as well as synchronization data. Guard times are utilized to allow synchronization of the receivers between different slots and frames. As previously mentioned, ISI is a resultant physical characteristic that is undesired in wireless communications. The reason is that distortion of a symbol occurs as a result of subsequent symbols. ISI is created by multipath within time dispersive channels. Multipath propagation arises because of the existence of objects in the path of the wireless channel as can be seen in the following figure, which cause the symbol to reflect and you have reflection and not known in the figure is another uh, occurrence which is coin footage which usually occurs when the symbol reflects off leaves and things of that nature. Equalization is a method utilized to mitigate ISI that is generated by multipath propagation in a time dispersive channel. In general, equalization is a single processing operation that is performed on the receiver end of a communicating channel to contend ISI in order to reduce distortion. ISI has been recognized as the major obstacle to high speed data transmission or wireless channels. A wireless channel is time varying and random. As a result, adaptive equalization techniques at the receiver end must be used to successfully compensate for ISI. Now, there are linear and nonlinear equalizers. Uh, there are several items of comparison when deciding between the two. Linear equalizers are the most basic equalizer technique to implement. A non-linear equalizer is much more complex. Therefore, the linear equalizer is favorable if feasible for communication. Unfortunately, wired channels contain deep spectral modes. Consequently, linear equalizers are not used for wireless applications because they enhance the noise where there are deep spectral modes. On the other hand, nonlinear equalizers can perform well 
and are typically used for wireless applications. As a result, either a decision feedback equalizer or a maximum likelihood sequence estimation equalizer must be implemented. Of the two, the maximum likelihood sequence equal estimation equalizer outperforms the DLE for small delay spread, but it becomes very complex as the delay spread becomes larger. Also, the DFE is more robust than the MLSE, and the application of the DFE is straightforward. Hence, a DFE will be utilized for the subject research project. The following block diagram depicts the DFE architecture. As can be seen in the figure, the decision feedback equalizer is made up of a feed forward filter and a feedback filter. Basically, the symbols that are detected at the receiver are passed through the feedback filter in order for the feedback filter to estimate the ISI. After the ISI is estimated, it is subtracted from the received symbols that pass through the feed forward filter in effort of removing ISI. Table 1 below provides some characteristics of several algorithms. The following characteristics are provided complexity, convergence speed, and tracking for, for these algorithms. For the purposes of this project, the RLS algorithm will be implemented. According to the table, the complexity is high, convergence is fast, and tracking is good. Um, MATLAB was used in order to test the use of the RLS decision feedback equalizer algorithm for a TDMA wireless channel. In the, for the purpose of simulation, it will be assumed that the multiple access technique utilized is TDMA. Also, QPSK is the modulation technique that will be utilized. The symbol period is set to 1 microsecond, the Doppler shift is 30 Hz, and two samples are taken per symbol. The simulation result, three simulation results are displayed in this slide and the following two slides. As can be seen in the figure, the received constellation has a bit error rate of 0.51 which would make it impossible to the de see in order to calculate what the received symbol is. After equalization, you can see in the equalized constellation that most of the ISI has been removed. Here's the figure for simulation two and simulation 3. Note that the equalizer weights are slightly different for all three simulations, indicating that the equalizer is adaptive indeed. Here are, some, here are the results for the three simulations. After equalization, ideally, the bit error rate for all three simulations is zero, and the bit error rate for the received constellation prior to equalization is approximately 0 0.5 for all three simulations, which means that it is essential to use equalization, and also this proves that.
that the use of the RS algorithm makes it possible 